Good morning, everyone. So today is Tuesday. So we usually incorporate Spanish today. We have like an hour of Spanish. Um, and I just want to remind everyone that the letter of the week is still S for spring because the theme is all things spring. And the number of the week is 22. So I just want to... I just want to uh, read a book today. It's called Owen by Kevin Hanks. It's a small scholastic book. And little Owen here also has a blanket. So I brought my favorite blanket that I sleep with. And I'm going to start. Also, on the curriculum today, it said that I'm going to read a different book. So I wanted to mix it up and change it to the book Owen. <laughs> Owen had a fuzzy yellow blanket. He had it since he was a baby. He loved it with all his heart. <laughs> fuzzy goes where I go, said Owen. And Fuzzy did. Upstairs, downstairs, in between, inside, outside, upside down. Fuzzy likes what I did, said Owen, and Fuzzy did. Orange juice, grape juice, chocolate milk, ice cream, peanut butter, and applesauce cake. Oh, the stains on, on Owen's blanket. Isn't he getting a little old to be carrying that thing around? Asked Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you heard of the blanket fairy? Owen's parents had it. Mrs. Tweezers filled them in. That night, Owen's parents told Owen to put Fuzzy under his pillow. In the morning, Fuzzy would be gone, but the Blanket Fairy would leave an absolute wonderful, positively perfect, especially terrific big boy gift in his place. And there's his parents talking to him. Fuzzy's dirty, said Owen's mother. Fuzzy's torn and ratty, said Owen's father. No, said Owen. Fuzzy is perfect, and Fuzzy was. Fuzzy played Captain Plunger with Owen. Fuzzy helped Owen become invisible. That's him playing Captain Plunger, and that's him putting his blanket over him, so he's invisible. And Fuzzy was essential when it came to nail clippings, and haircuts, and trips to the dentist. Nail clippings, or haircuts, nail clippings, and the dentist. Can't be a baby forever, said Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you heard of the vinegar trick? Owen's parents hadn't. Mrs. Tweezers filled them in. That's Mrs. Tweezers. Telling the parents. <clears throat> when Owen wasn't looking, his father dipped Owen's favorite corner of fuzzy in, into a jar of vinegar. Owen sniffed it and smelled it and sniffed it and he picked a new favorite corner. Then he rubbed the smelly corner all around the sandbox buried in the garden and dug it up again. Good as new, said Owen. He put it in the sandbox to try to get rid of the smell. Fuzzy wasn't very fuzzy anymore, but Owen didn't mind. He carried it and wore it and dragged it. He sucked it and hugged it and twisted it. always with Fuzzy. What are we going to do? asked Owen's mother. 
School is starting soon, said Owen's father. Can't bring a blanket to school, said Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you heard of saying no? Owen's parents hadn't. Mrs. Tweezers filled them in. There's Mrs. Tweezers telling her parents. And there's Owen with Fuzzy. I have to bring Fuzzy to school, said Owen. No, said Owen's mother. No, said Owen's father. Owen buried his face in Fuzzy. He started to cry and would not stop. Oh, poor Fuzzy. I mean, poor Owen and Fuzzy. And parents saying no. Don't worry, said Owen's mother. It will be all right, said Owen's father. And then suddenly, Owen's mother said, I have an idea. It was an absolute, wonderful, positively perfect, especially terrific idea. First she snipped, then she sewed, then she snipped and sewed some more. What is she doing to Fuzzy? What's happening to the blanket? Snip, snip, sew, sew, dry your eyes, wipe your nose, hooray, hooray, hooray. I think she made Fuzzy into several fuzzies. Now Owen carries one of his not-so-fuzzy handkerchiefs with him wherever he goes. That was smart. She made it into a handkerchief, and she and Owen loves it. And Mrs. Tweezers doesn't say a thing. Okay, bueno. Well, have a good day. And I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday.